Gang, real quick before we get this episode started, summer is going into full swing, and so is the RU Garbage Keep It Moving 2021 Tour. Oh, yeah. We're going to be coming to a town near you for a little bit of stand-up, and we're going to be answering your garbage questions. Kippy, tell them what they need to know. Yeah, guys, on uh, June 22nd, we'll be in Chicago. Still a few tickets left for that. Uh, June 23rd, we'll be in Indy, Helium. Get tickets for that. And then, buddy, we're all over the place. July 14th, Columbus Funny Bone. July 15th, Cleveland Hilarities. August 11th, Rhode Island Comedy Connection. August 12th, Left Boston. Those tickets are cooking. That's going to sell out. Get those tickets. Then August 25th, we're at New Brunswick Stress Factory. And then August 26th, we're at McGooby's Joke House in Timonium, Maryland, oh, right baby. outside of Baltimore. Okay? I like it, gang. Get some ticks. Come out and see. It's going to be a fantastic, fun time. A mix of stand-up comedy and the AYG game. Come out and hang with Uncle Hank and your Aunt Kippy. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Garbage. Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grew up to be classy, or they're just a big old piece of trash. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, H. Foley, you coming at you. Are while you're doing the intro? That's <laughs> unbelievable the way you brought up that not. whole thing. I think we he's... find out if you're in a hip hop hip hop. He gets a couple words, he starts wheezing. <laughs> nah, uh that sounded smooth and clean. Okay. We're coming at you from down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. Didn't even miss a beat. Um, <laughs> I saw a gentleman leaving this morning early yeah. around 7. Mm-hmm. And I saw another one leaving an hour later. Yes, yeah, this is when she makes it. So it's a hot girl summer for her. I don't know what she's up to up there, but the white claws are working. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He's the head bozo around here. Yeah. So show him a little respect. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, you subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. True to roof. roof. They're cooking, baby. (laughs) Patreon.com. Those numbers are fucking... Elon Musk built a rocket ship. Those things are fucking (laughs) cooking. And it's reusable. Yeah, closing in on... uh, Yeah, we're doing doing quite well. Just past 1,500 patrons. Hell Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's Let's go. Let's go. Uh, And then live shows coming up. Get tickets to the fucking live shows, you bozos. Couple of ticks left for AC. Couple of ticks left for Indy. A lot of ticks left for Indy. If you're in the Indy, if you're in the Indianapolis area, get Pull some the curtain back tickets. a little bit. Uh, yeah, I got a couple shows where there's way too many tickets left. Like a startling number. You're just like, does anyone in the city know I exist? Period. Yeah. Somebody Why hijack a go- somebody hijack a school bus and take it over to the comedy club, will you? Oh, they're gonna have to sell forty tickets a day to sell this thing out at this point. It's fucking a month away. How about a nice shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. He makes us all look good. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen, T-Bone. ladies and gentlemen. What's up, dudes? How are you, brother? Had a nice steak last night. Took dude, the kid out. Cajun ribeye about the size of a Honda, dude. That thing yeah, was outrageous. It was big. <laughs> Cajun, Spending some of that Patreon money, we went to Smith and Walensky. Cajun ribeye and a Pink Floyd t-shirt. Yeah. Fucking dirt bag. We'll talk about it, gang. We could not be more excited to have our incredibly special guest, Back with us here today. It's a family episode. We've got a little company in the house. Podcast royalty. Podcast (laughs) royalty. Not the usual bozos (laughs) you see drifting in and out of this hallway. This is is a fine, upstanding gentleman. He's got a couple of bucks on him, too. I want to hear all about it. Just got back from fucking the winter in Miami. How old are you? 37. 37. Fucking winter, winter in, in Miami. Miami. Yeah. Bruh, the place enough. you were staying was nice as shit, too. If my whole family <laughs> saved up, they couldn't send one of us to Miami for the fucking winter. That's because they got to feed you. <laughs> what the fuck do you think this is, man? Uh, I'll be taking heat on this one. He's got your <laughs> fucking bullshit. number. <laughs> I don't was, like this. He was clipping you before you even started. Somebody, I don't know why I love Foley the most. Somebody cut the tape, I'll tell you. I think it's tough love. Gang, this gentleman is going to be avoiding eye contact with me uh, this September at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. <laughs> Never. As I Never, dog. By. I'm your accountability partner, bro. Yeah. Give it oh, up yeah. for Mr. Akash Singh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Akash, brother. Yeah, my man. 
Thanks for coming back. Hey, thank you, man. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm trying to finagle my way on your live show in Austin. I'm trying to Ooh. sneak on. Oh, yeah, on we could do that. Pull out a contract I'm right now. To- <laughs> get this on paper. I'm trying to sneak in there, get a little guest set. You know what I mean? A little five minutes of garbage time. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, like we it. Do that. I want to know, all right, success. Pod's well documented. You guys are fucking killing it. You're unbelievable. The move to Miami, I loved. Yeah, I How didn't was at it? first, but I loved it. I didn't want to come back. Dude, you guys went, you all went, listen, I'm a, I'm a poor kid from the wrong side of the tracks. We mm-hmm. know this. Yeah. You guys moved your entire shop from Brooklyn to fucking Miami. You mm-hmm. set a whole studio up. You've all got places. Yeah. schultz has got the pool, boxing training. You're all hanging out. You're yeah. going to nice dinners. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's going nice to nice dinners. dinners. I'm going <laughs> to you nice guys were all there. Me. You're all there. You're yeah, sharing yeah, desserts yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Real fucking class. It's a family, dog. It's a family thing. Really nice, man. Yeah. You guys are up on a high rise. The yeah, that was your place. You had the high rise. I had the high you rise. Had, like, that the was co- your place? You, you, had guys- the, you had the cocaine cowboys version of Miami. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. I stayed further out. Everybody else wanted to stay in Miami, and I was like, no, I just want a nice place. I lived in such a shithole when stayed I first in Orlando. New York. <laughs> Wait, I don't give a fuck. I'm outside of Disney a couple of clicks. <laughs> Two miles down from Clearwater. What the fuck? Right Orlando's crazy. It's Tampa. It's Tampa only. It's Orlando's too expensive. What are you doing? Uh, but yeah, I lived in such a shithole my first like five or six years of comedy. I lived in an apartment that you guys would have all been like, this is fucking crazy. It smelled like cat piss the Where whole Where were hallway. you? I was off the uh, Montrose stop on... Like, actually, not far from the studio. Montrose. Okay. Montrose, yeah. a tough look. Yeah, it's not <laughs> dangerous, but it was just, like, owned by these clear, probably illegal immigrant Asian people mm-hmm. that instead of, like, wall paint, they had bathroom tile all over the kitchen. Like, all over the <laughs> whole apartment. kill room, dude. whole apartment is shower tile. Dude, it was nuts. That's crazy. And it was a one-bedroom that they turned into a three-bedroom railroad. So there's no living room. Oh. It's just kitchen, my room, middle room, third room. And then the middle room... The guy had to walk through my room was an alcoholic, compulsive liar, never had his rent, would just stumble You lived through. with Foley? <laughs> <laughs> Not no. to mention he was real handsy, too. Foley is charming. This guy had zero charm I'll about I'll give you that. Foley. Imagine uncharming oh. Foley. Yeah, I am a dirtbag, but I am pretty charming. Huh? I mean, look at you. So likable. I leave a smile on your face on, on the way out the door. For a while. Yeah, right? yeah. A well, that's the charm is worn out on yes. me. I've had a decade of it. <laughs> He's got three sayings that he does. He tries to get you to laugh. They got your nose. I whatever. get him every once your in a while. Your chemistry with Foley is a gift and a curse. It is. I, I yeah. He's my comedy wife. Yeah. And Jesus, she's a big fat <laughs> whore. <laughs> Well, that's going to cost you a weekend with the girls. <laughs> Tell you that right now. Yeah, I can send you. That's going co- really to cost you a Manny and a Petty. I can send you and the other animals to Texas Roadhouse for the night. <laughs> so you, My husband's <laughs> paying. So you splurged on a place is what you're trying yeah, to say. Yeah, We're yeah. doing that now that we got a couple of bucks. Yeah. I go, I've suffered for Splurge, so fucking long baby. that I'm spending the money. So I made it a point because I almost went broke in 2018. I remember we, we've had this conversation. <laughs> I was on my last like month's he was going, money. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I, dog, I was talking I was, to you on a corner and you're like, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I blacked out. I don't even remember talking to you. Yeah, I, yeah, had, yeah. I blocked that part out of my memory. Yeah. <laughs> Awful. So since then, 2019, we lived in Secaucus, New Jersey. 2020, Secaucus, New Jersey. I remember. Not a bad place, but it's fucking Secaucus. Yeah. It's cheap. And then we started making money and I was just like, let me save at least one year where it's like, if if I get no work for a year, this is a Schultz thing. I'm comfortable. Yeah, I can live comfortably. So we got that. We're and not doing that, investing. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> We're still month to month over yeah. here. Hey, buddy, do it, and it'll be worth it. I just because then when you splurge, it's like, bro, I'm who cares? It doesn't matter. I'm yeah, splurging. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So We're still in the that. honeymoon phase of it, though. And We're still shocked. Yeah, We're still yeah, a good yeah. It's all very weird. It's yeah. all going to be Strange. weird. Like when you, and I'm not even trying to be fake humble. When you guys say like podcast royalty, I'm like, yeah, they're talking about Andrew. I'm just here. No, um, what they th- get out of here with this that. But this is there's uh, we uh, you know t- there's ve- we've had this conversation too. Uh, there's very few people that podcast partners that have really good chemistry. You and Andrew are that. You guys, I think we 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 have some of yeah. it. Uh, the history Ian has had. It's yeah. like this thing. It's like this. They give hey, and go. You hey, you're welcome it. for that, by the way. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> to history. Ain't as probably bumped in the uh, not too shabby. Shout out to Pan. I was forty thousand on Patreon. That had to get reallocated. 
Our doors oh, are always man. open on Patreon.com. Akash took out the hyenas with the flagrant flu, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what I did, brother. <laughs> that probably I broke it. it. That was the start of them. Yeah, no, oh. that was it. No, that was the nail on the coffin. That was. That's. Uh, I know this. I saw it happen. I saw it. I missed the show. I missed those two together. Yeah, yeah. they were great. Yeah, but you got you and Andrew have that. That's why you Thank guys you. are so successful. Thank you. But uh, I don't even remember what we were talking about. Oh, talking I, about cash. That's yeah, what we're talking about. So the Miami move. I, we were just, I was telling my girl, like, yo, she hates the city. But I was like, I think I just lose on so many small debates, I don't even fight. That also, your big girl big is win. so pretty to the point, it's like, how the fuck did you get her? She wins every argument. It's, That's yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But Everyone yeah. in the whole squad's attractive. Yeah, it's you guys insane. you guys rolled down to Miami with, like, everybody was a 10. Yeah, hold, hold on a second. <laughs> that, That's what I want to ask you. Even just that, the 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 living the dream of, of just that, like, was there ever... Was your girl ever not going to come? Was it like, hey, because like, I mean, she's got a life up here. She's got yeah, a life up here. And she, theoretically, you're going for work. So you're at the point now where you can say, hey, whatever you're doing, fuck it. We're moving to Miami. Yeah, but I, here's what's crazy on some like universe type shit for years since like 2017. She's always said, I want to live in Miami. And we visit a couple times and she's like, no, I want to live here. So when we were deciding between Miami and Austin, we had literally just signed a lease or like verbally agreed to a place and given a deposit for a place in New York. Okay. I was telling her like, I know you hate the city, but we need to lean into my career right now because I think good things could happen if we fucking lean in, do as many spots as possible, et cetera, et cetera. So she's like, fine. We agree to a place in New York. Nice place. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy, crazy. Nice. And then the night we, after we verbally agree and send the deposit, Schultz is like, yo, I think we need to go. We need to leave New York. It sucks right now. And I'm freaking out. Like, what the fuck is going on? We just fucking put money into this place. Uh What's going on? And then uh, when we talked about New York or Miami or Austin, my girl was like, yo, if it's Miami, you don't even have to ask me. I'm there. If it's Austin, I'll enjoy the new place. You guys enjoy Austin. Sure. And I wanted oh, okay. Austin. Okay, she would have stayed. Yeah, I wanted Austin because my parents are right there. And oh, that's older, right. You're a Texas kid. But we missed that fucking epic ice storm not being there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, as soon as we went to Miami, she was in. She was like, let's go. My family's here and all my friends are here. But like, I want to experience this. And she loved it. Dude. Did she, all, was she working? Did she have a, she she have a work remote? Thanks to COVID. She was working remote, working so remote. it didn't matter. So now you're working remote looking at a beach. Damn. You know what I mean? That's fucking awesome. Fuck it, the team is killing it. You were all down there together. You're, like I said, you were going out. You're having cocktail parties. You're doing yeah, this. Yeah, it was a good that. life, man. It was a break. Fucking it was a vacation clean from this. living. Even if you're working, it feels like a vacation. Yeah. Miami's got a great like way of that. I feel like I'm on vacation all the time. In New York, if you're on vacation, you feel like you're working. I'm going to the yeah. store. It feels exhausting. I right know. Across yeah, the yeah, house, yeah, so yeah, tired. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. know. I've start, I started wearing shorts exclusively, so I feel like I'm on vacation. All Buddy, the, time. the train with jeans. I forgot about that. <laughs> Fucking nightmare. That's a job in and of itself. <laughs> the subway with jeans, oh, just chafing man. and rashes. What all is hot this life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Oh, I, was I did not want to come back, dog. I bet. Andrew, I think for his so much of his comedy is fighting back against the society around him. So much of my comedy is fighting back against the girlfriend around me. I, that's there. Yeah. Wherever I go, yeah, she's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For him, it's like, nah, I need the kind of New York um, angst and anger that I can kind of fight against. Sure. In Miami, everybody's, it's a vacation city. Everybody's sure. relaxed. Everybody's well, chilling. Everybody's everybody got a couple of cocktails stuff. in them. Yeah, so yeah, I think yeah. that was a major impetus for him being like, yo, if I want to be the GOAT stand-up, we can't. I can't be here. And I, I want to be the GOAT stand-up as well, but my inspiration, like, it tends to be at home for now. So, but he, when he was like, oh, we need to go back, I, I think that's why, and so I'm not fighting it. And plus, what leverage do I have? Sure. But I'm not fighting it. Sure. <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> yo, I, I tell everybody life is a leverage game, and if you don't think I understand that in my own life, you're out of your fucking mind. I was thinking Milwaukee, to be honest with you. What do you think? Andrew you got more relationship in my, my engagement than I do. Like, we got more leverage. Yeah. Like, that's, he got the leverage. Hey, when we getting married, Drew, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> we got to check the dates on Schulte. <laughs> Schulte. Yeah, Robin can't tell Batman not to sell Wayne Manor. Yeah, yeah I'm saying, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. So what'd you do with the apartment that you put the deposit down? Did you just forget Lost about it? the deposit? Fucked it off. Really? Had to eat it. Yeah. But I mean, everybody else is paying double eating rent. deposits over here. I know. Yeah. But yeah. But what Woo! am I going to do? Am I going to eat the podcast? I can't. You know <laughs> Fully <mean>? can. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little bit of that steak sauce from last night. I can eat about anything. No, but that's good to have that flexibility to be able to do that. Fuck it, I'm going to Miami. For yeah, so we moved all of our shit out of our... Our lease is already up in our old place. We moved all of our shit out one weekend. She, her mom was coming in from India. She lives back and forth. So okay. like, I had to fly back and forth for a few weeks, and then we moved out one weekend and then put it all in storage and then just moved back like a week ago. Where are you at in the city? Uh, on like in like West End area. Ooh, and that's very it. You guys nice. Get- West End's 
I was just West End is classic. You guys got a new place now. You're yeah, all settled in. Yeah, a new place. So yeah. from, from your fucking high rise in Miami to a new place in yeah, New York yeah, City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I couldn't take her back to Secaucus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't go. You can't go Miami to Secaucus. Yeah, that's not. You got to at least go Upper West Side. I hear Montrose is nice this time of year. Whatever it was. Yeah. You guys familiar with the J train? Like, what the fuck? You want to go to Forest Hills? Boo. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I hear Jackson Heights is beautiful. And what'd you get? Here. One bedroom, two bedroom. Got two. You got to do it. Got a little yeah, office. And then, yeah, you know, if did. our family visits, they have a place to stay, et cetera, all that. But, like, I got my desk that I'm getting all the furniture in. I'm going to have my space. And then we're going to try to make that work. Fucking clean right. living. I love it. I'm ready? We're trying, yo. No more garbage time. <sighs> yeah. I just, we're trying. We're, yeah, we're trying. I just took him on his first limo ride, by the way. Oh, I saw that. That's, it was fun. I, that. It was, I thought there'd be more people on it. <laughs> he was like, do we have to stop and pick up more people? I'm like, dude. Was it hard for you to not do cocaine in the limo? <laughs> <laughs> I look over, he's got a mirror. <laughs> he pulled it off the wall. He was literally like, are there mics and cameras back here? Are they checking out? Can we do weird stuff? Yeah, he's like, are they spying on us? I'm like, "It's I got it off a Russian guy in Midtown. It's Doesn't it make fence. sense to you that a, that a limousine company would have a, a camera in there in case kids are doing what? something bad in the back? Do you think rich people haven't evolved since 1998? You think they're taking limos now? Yeah, rich people aren't Nobody in limos. They're in limos, helicopters. Bro. Prom <laughs> kids going to prom in limos. <laughs> Dude, that's all it is. The it's limo fucking, well, that's what I'm ass. saying. Don't you think they'd be watching you? Because I wouldn't want to be doing rippers back there and have Igor in the front keeping an eye on me. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you're the target, scene. buddy. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. They're trying that's to bring the down you. Going after. They're trying to bring you. Do that. Yeah. I was like, it's not ab scam. <laughs> Your guy doesn't even speak fucking English. He was a little chatty, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Anyway, buddy, thank you for coming and sitting with us. Thank you for love being here. Thank you for, for, for going over that with me because I love it. Fucking oh, thank you, been Doug. fascinated by the, by the whole winter. Follow, living vicariously for you guys. I know. We, we were when we go out, I, I feel like I feel, I feel like you and Schultz see a little bit. We were Yo, sharing a couple it, of Doug. things. You got it. Y'all are on your way. This is a fucking great Stone great Crabs, that Again. steakhouse with the chimichurri sauce, whatever you had. It's dim lighting. <laughs> Dude, Classy. he could see an Instagram story. <laughs> From fucking three years ago, and remember what the sides were on the meal. <laughs> I'm not even fucking around with you. I'm not even. Kidding. No, they ate there a couple of times. See, uh, it was they Tuesday the 9th. <laughs> they went back on the 22nd. Pierre was their waiter. Yeah, if dude, if it has to do with food, it is fucking programmed into his head. It's listen. It's not that. It's just the elegance of it. It's it's the the doing things right, working hard. With your with your with your best friends making great stuff That's the idea. and then doing That's the and then idea. doing things nice. That's all it is. It had nothing to do with the truffle lobster mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> And I resent any comments saying otherwise. Mm. No, nah, that's the idea, but it does get tricky. And one thing I've always said that I'm like very big on is the friendship has to come before the podcast. Even if this is yes. all of my income, the friendship has to come first. If it costs me my friendship, I have to say I'm walking. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying it's going to be super easy to do because as numbers rise and as money rises, stakes rise. Sure. And you start looking at the stakes differently. Even everybody. Not those kind of stakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You're talking about Porterhouse. <laughs> yeah, you are though. That's like not going to be a crazy thing to you is go to a fancy steakhouse and, and live it up. Like, it's like, all right, cool. I can do that now. But the emotional investment that comes with that gets higher because it's like, oh shit, now we have a lot more to lose. Yeah. Even though you started with nothing, you're like, oh, I can't go back there. So for me, I've set a, a thing in my mind that is the friendship has to come first. And I know Andrew has done that, too. He's always been super loyal to me. So that's one thing we have that gives me hope that we can do this for a long time. Because a lot of this shit falls apart when it gets too successful. Sure. And then everything gets too, you're, you're so invested in this. The, the insecurities and paranoia start playing in. And so, like, if Andrew, like, we've seen other podcasts where it's like, oh, this guy wants to do this thing and the other person feels away. Like, mm -hmm. Andrew got a Netflix special? Bet you do that. That's only going to help our numbers. Yeah, you want to sure. make it Andrew Schultz's flavor all boats too, rise and because you explained to me more people will find it, and this is a fact that when you search Andrew Schultz before on iTunes, our podcast wouldn't come up because it was called Flagrant Two. Mm -hmm. Andrew Schultz is Flagrant Two. You search Andrew Schultz and you're a fan of it's his. There. That shit pops up, and our numbers went up. So every time I've swallowed my ego, we've won. It's great. So and as as I as my profile raises, there will be times where he'll have to swallow his ego, God willing. You know what yeah, I mean? Like that's yeah, the yeah. idea. And the friendship still has to come first. And it's it's just going to be a thing that you guys are going to deal with, I'm telling you, because you're on that road. And it's not like a bad, oh, fuck you guys. I'm saying you're because you're good, this is going to become a thing. Thank you. The Thank friendship you. has to come first. Yeah, because, yeah, without yeah, the chemistry. So I'm thinking Kevin Ryan presents Are You Garbage? <laughs> <laughs> I'm an SEO guy. <laughs> I was going to say I need to borrow a couple of dollars off you. 
No. Uh, we also are, and the fans, we, we do it behind, uh, on the Patreon, we really kind of fucking, it's, you know, because uh, there's no one there. It's just me and him kind of venting and shit. Um, I'm there like, too. Oh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> they're like, but even you, you're it's like, already starting. You're like, we're very mean to each other. We yeah. have a very d- dysfunctional relationship, and we have for a decade. Yeah, like we yell and scream at each yeah, other, and yeah. it's like that just comes from the fucked up families we came from. Mm-hmm. So love you, mom. <laughs> Are you talking to your dad yet? No, who? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're having a good time. You're that cocksucker. No. Um, Kevin starts crying. <laughs> no, we're man. Just, we're just sitting here. So, what would you eat in my area? Uh, so, to we're just used game. to screaming at him each trying other. To recover and emotionally we, from yeah. that? Holy <laughs> fuck, dude. This guy is in it right now. I don't even think about that guy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> Where were we? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, how would you? Have no, you guys have a very mean, like, um, <laughs> yeah, we, we air it out. But yeah, he said it, it, friendship first, can't go anywhere. <laughs> well, you heard I mean, it here first, He's folks. like, do you think this show's ever going to stop? I'm like, well, the Beatles broke up, dude. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I think the garbage podcast might come to an end at some point. Yeah. Never. Gang, let's talk about our good friends at HelloFresh. Kippy, oh. how do you feel about them over there? Love those guys and gals run a top-notch operation. I got to tell you, it's clean living over there at HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip oh, yeah. the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Mm-hmm. And that's why why it's America's number one Meal what? kit. Numero uno, gang. Hit you with a couple of special things about HelloFresh. Let me tell you this. What do you got? They cut meal plan. They cut, you know, planning and time with the grocery store and a lot of stuff. They get rid of it all, and they also have meals that you can make within 15, 20 minutes. Have them on the table for your family. Bing, boom, bat, no stress. Oh, baby. Uh, they sent us big boxes of stuff. Big box. Big boxes of food uh, i think you got the the locale option right i got the locale i got some grilled cajun shrimp Ooh. with the kale with uh with caesar salad or with uh kale kale salad mm-hmm. top shelf yeah we got uh we got a pork dish it was phenomenal i'm not even that big of a pork guy this was a home run no we got the pork dish too it was crazy Ooh, the, the sh- sauce the the brown sauce oh. God. was like sweet and, and tangy. It was unbelievable. It was top-notch, guys. Check it out. They got a ton of recipes. Whatever you're into, they got. If it's locale, uh, you know, meat, no meat, whatever you want, they got it. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage12 slash Garbage12. Use promo code Garbage12 for 12 free meals, including... Oh, that's why they're doing the 12? Including free shipping, buddy. 12 free meals, including the shipping... I'm going to say it one more time. Write it down. Get it tattooed on you. Whatever you need to do. Mm-hmm. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Garbage12. Use promo code Garbage12. You'll get 12 free meals, including free shipping. It's a no-brainer. Do it. Gang, let's talk about our good friends over there at Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers. Big bozos. If we've learned anything... There's always a catch. Yeah. Okay. So when we first heard about Mint and we heard about their $15 a month plan, we thought to ourselves, oh my God. What are we doing? Got to be a catch. Yeah. They're sneaking something by us. Fine print something. Couldn't be further from the truth. Here's the deal. There is no catch. They create their savings by going around the middleman and giving the savings right on to you. Yeah, guys, they sent us uh, They sent us a Mint Mobile plan to use. It's fantastic. Actually, my wife has been using it for years. Mm-hmm. She got onto it early because she was coming over uh, from Europe for times. That we needed to get her a plan without getting you know the, the two, three, four, five-year contract. Sometimes you got to give up your firstborn to be with some of these sure. companies. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we got this for it, and she's just kept it. It's that easy. It's simple. It's the same service you get. How funny is that? Before we were advertising with it. For years, she's been using it. Mint Crazy. Mobile. I, they came across. The, they were like, hey, do you want to Mint Mobile? I go, I love this guy. That's destiny. Shout out to Mint Mobile. They send it to you. It's easy peasy. So if you're looking for extra savings, they offer premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. Um, use your own phone, and you get your Mint Mobile plan, same phone number, the whole nine yards. All your contacts stay the same. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. Switch to Mint Mobile, get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bones a month. Get it shipped right to you for free. Go to mintmobile.com 
slash garbage. Mm -hmm. One more time, big man. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Now back Back to to the the show. show. All right. Speaking of family, this is a pretty good one. Uh, Guys, so as you know, when you join the Patreon, uh, we will answer your garbage question on the air. It's the best way to do it. Uh, We just get so many submissions. Um, Bobbada bebop. We have. Are you backlogged? We have a backlog that we're let's let's get through it a little bit. We're working through. Let's clear out the inbox. Uh, (laughs) Well, I mean, they're they're joining. They're joining. Kids a go getter. I like. All right, this one's from Alex. This has to do with family. Does your family kiss each other on the mouth? No. (laughs) (laughs) No chance. There's some families that do that. I have a couple of people in my family that do that. Are they garbage or is that evolved? No, that's garbage. I feel like it's a little garbage it's and not creepy. so physical. Wait, affection. who kisses who on the mouth? You kiss your dad on the mouth if you fuck a fucking real one, Kevin. Who? <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> that should who? be your move. Next time, <laughs> next time you see him in a Wawa parking lot. Just, just make fuck. out with him. <laughs> <laughs> like the end of Pretty Woman. I'm telling you, all your problems go away. If because, I just walked up and planted said, hey, one I'm on I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> you're my father and you grab his cheeks and you plant one on the fucking mouth. What's he going to do? Get the fuck off me. But, but now I he's going to be like, man, that was really fucking yeah. that was really cool. That did. Like, what guys must really want to move on. Oh, yeah, know? he must have put the past behind him. Yeah. Who kisses on the mouth? Um, There's an uncle. What? what? Not, not to me anymore, I thought but as were, a kid. I thought I was guaranteed you were going to say my mom kisses the grandkids who are little. I'm on sure the, she I think does, I used to yeah. kiss my mom on the mouth at like five. And then I remember being yeah. like, I just got to stop. Something, yeah. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. An uncle. Yeah. Uh, great guy. <sighs> I had no a buddy. I had a buddy who's like, we would like, he had like, the, he was, his house was like the party house. Because his dad was a single dad, and he'd be like, all right, I'm going to bed. We'd all be, like, drinking or whatever in high school. And he'd be like, come here and give me a kiss. He'd have to, like, walk over and kiss his dad on the yeah. lips before he went to bed. And we were like, this is... When you were boozing? Yeah, I'm like, this is what freaky, What the dude. fuck? Yeah. Jeez, he kissing your son with beer breath? Yeah, like, <laughs> come on. That's fucking wild. Yeah. yeah, that's a drunk move, though, kiss on the lips. That's it. By accident. Yeah. Wow. And he kissed on the lips for a my sister in law. My sister-in-law doesn't even... She 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 leans in with like her head when I go in to give her a kiss on the cheek. Yeah, I mean, dude, I couldn't imagine you coming in to plant one on somebody, dude. That beard, those teeth, no way. I never do. I always just touch cheeks. I'm not kissing anybody on the That's cheek. That's weird, dog. Do you guys fucking when, weird about that, what, yo? Yeah, kiss what, on the cheek, bro. Hey, I'll kiss you on actual your fucking ki- cheek? Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Patreon.com. <laughs> <laughs> do you kiss your family members, like your mom? Mom gets a kiss on the lips. I mean, a kiss on the cheek. Oh, okay. Yeah, dad my mom and dad get smooches cheek. all the time. Not uh, on the lips. My little like cousin's sister gets a kiss on the top of her head. Yeah, you go top of the head with the kid. Yeah, of course. It'd be weird. Yeah, if she's you like were. 29, 30, but like. I'm like, yeah, kissing the cheek feels weird for sisters. Sure. So kiss the top of the head. Top of the head's if a I'm, good one. If I'm tall enough to do that, I'm not always. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's like a hierarchy of it. There's an appropriate way to do it. Mm-hmm. For yeah. sure. If you're 100%. a dude in my family, you get fussed. I'll oh, plant one right in my fucking <laughs> cheek, bro. I give my mom and dad kiss. I snuggle with my dad and give him kisses on his head, joking around and stuff like snuggle that. Snuggle with him. But no lips. Snuggles. I'd no, rather kiss my dad on the lip than snuggle I mean, with like, him. give him a big hug and stuff like that. Squeeze him well, like a little I get a bear. hug, but what is in stuff like that? Like, you know, like, hey, get over here, doing that kind of thing. The not gay way. Yeah. It's like when you hug a guy with your pat twice on the back. The back, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To not be gay. You got you to have no pants on if you still pat on the back. <laughs> yeah, you got to, like, be aggressive with a guy when you hug him. Yeah, get over here. Get over here. Yeah, Keep you rubbing noodles as long as there's, like, <laughs> Give as long him as there's a nice... Word, all code for I'm not gay. <laughs> what about you, T-Bone? You smooching? I mean, she comes mom. from a loveless family, I feel. <laughs> That's not true. No, I feel like you come from the most love out of all of us. Yeah, but it's just remote. A loveless family. What does what does remote mean? <laughs> That's b- via the phone. Yeah, they, oh. yeah I don't see them super lot. close. Yeah, oh, you, you don't sh- see them that much. You're a Chicago guy, right? Uh, yeah. I was out there for like eleven years. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do yeah. you say I love you after the phone call? Of course. T Bone or uh, Akash? Yep. Everybody. Yeah. Every I say that shit to everybody. Yeah, no. I say it to everybody. After, I mean it. And as I get older, I'm like, yo, you don't know what could happen. Tell motherfuckers you love them. Yeah. Big deal. Yeah, it's true. I'll never forget one time I did give, like, I was going to sleep. I was, like, 11. I gave my dad a kiss on the cheek, and then our neighbor was there drinking with my dad, and I went to give him a hug, and I just, like, instinctively kissed him <laughs> on the cheek. <laughs> and was and I, it still haunts me to this day. Uh-huh. It made the vibe so weird. And I was like, why the fuck did I do that? Uh, 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 oh, that's tough, dude. Hey, Jack, what's with the little one, huh? <laughs> Come over to watch a ball game and have a couple of beers. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's fucking trying to make out with this me. Fucking kids Round putting, in second base. This kid's putting the full court press on me. Doesn't he uh, see the ring? What's the deal? Oh, uh, dude, this morning I had a horrible time. I got I had that age old thing. I got coffee and I was walking down the street and I saw my friend. Kiss the deli guy. <laughs> <laughs> Get over here, Pedro. Uh, no, I saw my wife's friend who lives in our building and like we just started hanging out. Like, I just started hanging out with her. And like we we're on like a kind of a hugging basis. Yeah, yeah. It's a we tough were. Look. I saw her on Saturday, and we hugged high and by. Yeah. So I saw her this morning walking the kid, and I'm like, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" And I went for it, and she didn't. Ooh. Dude, I was like arms out, wow. and she like turned to get the kid. What a and punt, I, dude! I was just standing on the corner like this, and I was like, "Okay, <laughs> all right, just stretch." It was a tough look, buddy. That's on her. Fuck her. I know, but I'm the guy still in the corner <laughs> doing this. It's a, it's a new Scandinavian <laughs> yoga I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Anyway, check it out. Good class. Yeah. Uh, Dork. I know. Ouch. Talk about you guys, power you guys say I love you to each other? I do. We have. We <laughs> have. Everybody on our pod says I love you. I say I love you to every person. I'm usually the first to leave, so I say I love you to everybody on the way out. Yeah. They say I love you back. It's I like, usually tell him like I love him on, on the phone. I usually don't get it. You know, I, I get it. Yeah, this, you guys still dealing with his dad. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the come fuck? On, He's got a lot bottled up in there. Yeah, buddy. Come it's on. It's like a three liter. Oh, how, so when we went on. How are you going to love you and not his own father? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to deal with that every time he every time he says he, that's just in the back of his mind. I can't say it to this I guy. Like the better, I, I like the better we were calling him fat. What <laughs> are we doing here? Am I a father figure to you? I have more money than you. I'm more successful than What are you talking about? Now you sound like a father figure for real. (laughs) That's exactly what he wants to say to his dad right now. (laughs) Toby, cut it. (laughs) And I got friends, and they love me. (laughs) And they tell me they love me. And some of them even kiss me on the mouth. (laughs) Can you say that? (laughs) Who's kissing you on the mouth, Dad? (laughs) Are there grown men who smooch you? Dad! Oh, my God. Uh, oh, dude, I'm sweating. Oh, oh that's God. too funny. Well, no, very, you are not a father figure Well, very paternal of him. He's going to have a heart attack soon. So, <laughs> so maybe you are my dad. That's fatherly. <laughs> yeah. you know, that's, le- that's old man. I am leaving you my watch and my will. <laughs> you keep asking him to watch his health. He keeps not doing it. You know? <laughs> yeah, you are. I tell you to quit smoking. You're not doing that. He's very paternal in these ways. You, didn't get, me a, you didn't get me a Christmas present. That was just like my dad. <laughs> just like, like my dad, you forgot my birthday. I wasn't at your wedding. <laughs> you, at, you both weren't at my wedding. <laughs> Fucked up thing is we were actually having a drink together. <laughs> yeah, he's a good, you two just sit at the bar. He's a good kid. I love him. Oh, oh God. Ah, uh, Kippy. Oh, That's buddy. too funny. Well, if you ever want to have a catcher or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm calling you to play sports. That's what I'm doing. Have show, a catch. <laughs> show you how to throw a curveball. <laughs> Maybe make out with your mom. Uh, <laughs> Jesus oh Christ, I'm sweating. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, man, me too. Uh, all right, this what one. A, hold on. You. <laughs> Can I say this? Sure. What a great question. Am Fantastic. Right? Great, great question. Great question. Yeah, 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 Who's, yeah. Who asked that? That was from Alexander. Oh, all right, buddy. Shout out to Alexander. All right, this one's from Jordan. Ever worn jeans with sandals? No, but I'm Indian, so I should. That's I what I like. I'm I saved. I pulled this for I'm you. I'm garbage for not. Oh. I don't like flip flops, and I feel like a bit of a sellout because of that. Yeah, you're you're abandoning your roots. Because I'm not like I don't know nearly enough about India, so anything that makes me feel like I'm not, I should be doing this as an Indian, I'm I get real insecure about it. Like if you ask me to eat Indian food, and I'm like, no, nah. like what I feel, I'm like, well, what am I doing? I should want to eat Indian food should, every time yeah. somebody asks. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. restaurant Indian no, food is not, not that's not Indian it's food. It's not food real guys. house Indian food. Yeah. But in my mind, I'm like, oh, fuck it, how white am I? Jesus Christ, what am I trying to eat? Fucking Bennigan's? What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Bennigan's. Because you wouldn't want to eat anything all the time. If you're Italian, you don't always want fucking spaghetti yeah, and they meatballs. Do. Have you yeah, talked to an that's Italian? True. <laughs> that's true. That's Jesus true. Christ, they never shut up about that I shit. I got some on me now. <laughs> no. Chicken parm? They're never saying no to chicken parm. Either Yeah, either do I, though. Big chicken parm guy. I don't get it, chicken parm. Do you have that a lot? Do you have like your your? Yeah, he hates. I get him. I get him all the time, and he. What wait, is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't wait, get what it. Do, what I don't do you, get hold it. on, what's going on? I just don't <laughs> they get they don't like parm. chicken parm. I don't get it. I'm sorry. The what? I just don't get it. Have the a chicken fried chicken parm sandwich. Is your own sandwich. Have a fried chicken sandwich. Uh, it is with meat with ch- with cheese and sauce. Nah, this is not truly fried. It's just like breaded and kind of fried, and then it's like kind of dry but not really. And you're, then you're eating nuts. the sauce and covered. It's a mediocre sandwich. I'm not. I, Wow, hot take. 
Maybe that's why I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> you Italian short. That was not a hot take, first of all. Yeah. You fucking Italian here. cucks. I can't believe you gave him that as a hot take. Yeah. That's... Uh, yeah. It, no. no, actually, if I felt it in my loins, I felt it. Um, Chicken parm's fantastic sandwich. But I will say this. I do prefer the entree over the sandwich. That, that makes sense. No. Why can't, Why take a kind of dry food and then put it in between two drier foods? Man, you're making when it's good done right. points. <laughs> But you I'm can't really be- frustrated <laughs> because I love chicken parm. You can't beat the entree, though, because it comes with a side of pasta. Yeah, that pasta always stinks, though. I'm there for the meat, the cheese, and the sauce. I don't need the fucking noodles chicken, that were an afterthought. Dog, get fried chicken. I do from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> um, does your... Do your does like your dad? Do you have your do you have brothers? Yeah, my are they, all, are they all sandals? Are you? All? My dad is a sandals guy. If you're from India, you are a sandals guy, and that's just what yeah, it, it's I'm just not even what saying it is. as a joke. It's yeah. just what it is. I don't. And then my brother's not because again, he grew up here. But if you're from India, you are sandals through and through. Is your brother dressed like you? Like no, more no, hip hop urban. No, no, he was more white, and I was more because there was no way to act Indian when we were growing up. Like Indians are kind of forming an identity now. Yeah, but you guys, you guys like, are really putting on the hard press. Uh, we're, we're There's a lot coming. of cool yeah, Indian. We're shit trying going to really on. rush yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. still, it's like people used to be like, "Oh, why don't you act Indian?" I'd be like, "What, what do you want me to do?" <laughs> what like, does there's that no mean? like, yeah. if you what the fuck better or worse, if somebody that? says you're acting black, you kind of know what that means. <laughs> sure, sure. If somebody says you're acting white, you know what you know what that means too. If somebody says you're acting Indian, it's just like you got flip flops on. Yeah, I got flip flops. I'm I'm pre med. Like that's it. That's all I can do. Flip flops and a decent GPA. Yeah, exactly. So I did my best to do that, and then I couldn't. So. Here I am trying to figure it out, <laughs> trying to not be too black and not be too white. It's working for you, buddy. Thanks, buddy. You're uh, a cool guy. You're a cool, thanks, confident buddy. Thank guy. You. Thank you. I could say this. I would like to be full-time flip-flops. You got bad toes, though. You I got to take care of them. You just saw. I, I was in between petties at the time when you saw them. <laughs> but my feet are actually good. They do need a good scrubbing to get all that dead skin off the Then bottom. that doesn't sound good. You can't say I got to get all that dead it's skin maintenance. off after it's you maintenance. say they look good. I no, it's not. But it's not disgusting. everybody in flip flops has good feet. How and, strong does your nail tech have to be to lift your fucking ham hock? Jersey, <laughs> <on the back>? <laughs> when they move a whale, they got that fucking. <laughs> they got that harness. Bob Ballard's there. Oh man, yeah, that should have got deep. Me. I don't who the uh, what who the fuck is <laughs> Bob Ballard? That was a deep conservationist cut <laughs> oh, right my there. God. I think is that from Sea Spiracy? Yeah, he's some. Ex- <laughs> oh, they, oh, Bob Ballard. Yes, <laughs> that's good, dude. Fuck, that's good. Ready. Well uh, done. I did know that. Yeah. We'll change it to Jacques Cousteau. <laughs> yeah, you, had a fucking, you had to get us there. You <laughs> you you jumped straight into it with that. Oh shit. Um, this uh, one's not a. This is just a joke. Uh, this is from Michael. Ever put ten dollars on Patreon with only twenty dollars in your bank account? That is our fan base that's a, right there. That's baby. a fucking fan. That's a, I love that. That's we get people fan. that. They go, hey, listen, I'm, if it hits my account today, it's going to overdraw. So I'm going to pause and then join. Hey, me. who's that, Michael? Yeah. Michael, let me tell you something. If I'm in your city, I you get a free ticket to my show. Oh, oh look at one. that. Yeah, not ours, one. by the way, especially in Indy. <laughs> not not ours in Indy. Well, I'm going to tell you this. In Kansas City, they're probably going to have to give away free tickets anyway. So I might well, if you live there, I might as well go to you. You know what I mean? I like it. <laughs> You're moving tickets, though. No, yeah, but it's- I opened for you in Philly. Philly was a good turnout. It was like five sold out shows or yeah, something. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, Phoenix, I didn't sell any tickets up to the day. I was freaking out. And then a bunch of walk ups came, which is cool. I'm hoping the same thing happens in Kansas City because they sent me the numbers and I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? This is going to be, I'm doing shows for chairs. Uh, and I'm flying people out now because I'm trying to make By the way, he, of that. Fl- he, op- he rolls with a crew when he goes out. Thick and crew. You're, you're real generous with those Venmos. You're, oh, yeah. I yeah, he was like, oh, here, get yourself a room for the weekend. Venmo me the money right away. Yeah, I want to take <laughs> care. withdrawal it before he fucking pulled it back. And that's another thing. I mean, yeah, the hotel and, was closed. Andrew always <laughs> took such good care of me. I'm like, I can't be stingy with the people around sure, me. Sure, of that, course. That guy overpays me for sure. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you're coming, I don't want you to have to come out of pocket for anything. Yeah, you're yeah, like, I'm getting great. a room. It's like, bro, I can't have He sent me the link. He's like, here, show. get the room, and then the link in the Venmo at the same time. Classy move. It's well documented. There's no yeah. disputing it. The <laughs> kid, kid's all fucking class. He's yeah. doing it right. He does it nice. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's. Uh, I'm trying to make content out of like having my features on the road, and then we all come up on stage at the same time and try to do like. If we can make that extra content, great. Then it kind of kind of pays for itself in that way. Sure, sure, of but, course. Yeah, you got to sell tickets for that to work. So I'm looking <laughs> at these yeah, KC numbers, and I'm yeah. about to lose thousands of dollars. <laughs> thousands of dollars. Holy shit. 
better idea. Instead of flying, we rent a van. <laughs> <laughs> and we move the, the, we we the show to Hoboken. We get, <laughs> <laughs> get plenty of content out of that, huh? I got a great place in Seacock. It's probably still available. <laughs> Uh, cause we're, we do the same thing. So we, so it's me and Foley and we, we bring out T-Bone and then, uh, me and him close out the shows together, taking mm. questions from the audience, um, have, you know, live questions from the audience, but we're noticing like, all right, I'm like, oh, so it's three plane tickets yep. and it's like, we fly to Columbus and then from Columbus to Cleveland back to New York. So it's like. You're looking, I'm like, oh, we're fucking two grand in plane tickets oh, yeah, already yeah, yeah, yeah. before yeah. we even get Hotels there. too. Hotels add up. Meals add up. Uh, fucking Ubers add up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. adds up. You triple all your expenses and you get paid the same. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which so is why we have t-shirts that are only available <laughs> on the tour at there the live shows. Yeah, that's yeah, move. Yeah, yeah. That's a good move. I'm like this guy regardless, though. That's always kind of been the way that I operate. The guy. What are we talking about? The 10 and the 20. That. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, guys just went off on a tangent about rich guy shit. <laughs> about flying people out, yeah, merch and stuff like that. I'm saying about like a common money. man. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I've always been like that. If I have 20 bucks let me in tell there. tell somebody we know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, last night in the limo, somebody, we were filming and someone called and he's like, I think it was like the, it was the doctor's it office was, or something. It, it was, it was. It was those sirens at Hawaiian Airlines. Oh, Hawaiian what Airlines. <laughs> trying to bring me up on the rocks. And he's going, but when are you processing the charge? <laughs> she, and she's going. I had to make a move real she's, quick. She's going. She's going tonight. He's like, but like now, like now or like how many, at 8 p.m. And how I'm many like, minutes from when this phone disconnects? Yeah, dude, he goes, okay, bye. He hangs up and he's in his bank fucking tra- moving money around. Uh, you got a check and you got a savings. You're on the Kevin Hart. That's point. right. I got to yeah. zip it over. Zip it back <laughs> yeah, and got forth. You. I have two check-ins. Oh, shit. Both yeah. empty. It's <laughs> yeah. not a sign of wealth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> two check-in accounts. <laughs> two check-in Bro, accounts. Bro, I got 40 credit cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. All fucking tilted what, out. What is your... Well, this is a big one. What's your credit limit? This isn't from a... This is what we ask a lot. What's your credit limit? I don't remember. You ballpark it? 30-ish. Thousand? What? Something like that. Well, your credit, your well, Wait, hold on. on one can card? I, can I be honest with you? That was my credit 10 years ago. 30 grand. I don't know what it is now. Holy shit. 30 grand. I, I, I can't even look at you in the eye anymore. I buy an airplane with I that. I was broke with the 30 grand credit limit, and I was about to be like, this is our money for a, we got. <laughs> yeah, dude, uh, dude. Guess ours. Yeah. Um, 12 to 15. Thousand? Yeah. Okay. What's forward? Just remember, I didn't have the beard I when I got the credit card. <laughs> all right, you, okay, so you probably. All right, you were younger. Maybe. No, this is this together. is this is within the last year. Oh, I got things it. are better in the last. We year. We both got okay. credit cards within okay, the past. Things year. are better in the last year, so I'm gonna guess Toby's too. Toby is with about five thousand probably. I I don't have a credit card. Grow up. <laughs> I, have an, I have an Amex. He does. Like he has gentleman. an Amex card. Yeah, oh, that's Amex. a credit card. Yeah. What, what but it's that's the to, fancy of all the credit cards. But it's linked cards. to his brother's account or something like that. What are they telling you that's not a credit card at Amex for? You're about to get fucked in the ass on interest. <laughs> no, well, a be late and then see if it's not a credit card. <laughs> <laughs> it's hey, technically bu- a charge card. Hey, though. Bob, I told this <laughs> long hair on the phone that he didn't have to pay any of his back. <laughs> Dumbass, his, believe yeah, me. Yeah, the hippie bought it. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to guess you would be 5000 You're about... 15, I was, if I had to guess, 12 to 15. Foley, $20. <laughs> uh, you are. The gentleman from Texas is way off. Oh, yeah. You are way, way off. What do you have? Five? Hundred? Thousand? No. I'm, you're, you're never going to look at me the Mine's same. more than his. His is more than mine. You're the professional one. I know. That's why I thought you had your shit together. I know. But what, we talked about buying real estate. Do you remember that? Sure. <laughs> buying entire neighborhoods. You buying Detroit. real estate. We talked about I didn't you. have money at the time. You had 30K on you. <laughs> <laughs> you two are spitballing. No one's got a thing to make a move. All right, go ahead. Talk to the agent. Wait, you go ahead and talk to the agent. Wait, I thought you were buying. We it. wanted to buy land in Detroit because that's what we could afford back when it was like houses for a dollar. I what though? You two are sitting around. Oh, I didn't my. want to. I 250 have. is what his credit limit <laughs> no, is. My credit limit is $200. I Are you out of your? You, who is? You, so hold off on the. Uh, hold on. You hold don't, off. Don't break ground on the subdivision. <laughs> just get it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Put the shovel away. Yeah. Put the gold shovel away. Yeah. Put the ribbon away. I don't want you getting upside down with a couple oh, of I bulldozers. I knocked over my water. Oh. Holy fuck! My bad. Oh, oh my god, son. Two hundred. <laughs> this is five hundred. My God, dude! I just asked them to raise it too. They said no. I could buy you. <laughs> I could buy you and sell you, Kippy. <laughs> Two and a half times. <laughs> Two 
dude, we are tanking. Our pets' heads are falling off. Uh, what oh the fuck, God. yo? 500. That's pathetic. How the fuck did you have 30 grand in credit 10 years ago? You just don't be late. That's all you got to do. I, yeah, I didn't white do people that. are on time with everything. Not, well, my, not my kind when of white did people. You, <laughs> when did you get your first credit card? College. And so, okay, no credit before that. You live at your parents. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to college. Mm -hmm. Who gets you the credit card? Your parents or you apply yourself for a credit card? I think my dad might have applied. Okay, to help you build your credit. No, I paid my dad it. I paid couldn't it. apply for me. No, no, yeah. no. But I mean, like he wanted. He was you like, "You need a credit card." That and I, think... I never had that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when did you get started? Uh, May. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had. Well, then I I had a Macy's credit card when I worked at Macy's, and that really jammed me up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a couple of years of bad bad mispayments. <laughs> I was How really you get a bad. job and lose money at the job? <laughs> this guy's well, backwards in bed sheets. <laughs> I'm upside down in a pair of trousers. Oh my god, dude! Oh. Couple of duvet covers, <laughs> fucking sank the whole ship. Oh Jesus Christ, man! Oh. Macy, I gotta see if we, if the corporate, if get the a, company can get, get a, a credit coke card. addiction like a gentleman. <laughs> Holy shit! All right. Oh, so you were you were jammed up at Macy's. <laughs> and yeah, how old were you when you cleared that debt? <laughs> Not college loans. <laughs> Macy's credit card. Well, college loans got me too when okay. those things kicked in. They okay. they they really beat me up. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so when you don't pay those back, they ruin that ruins your credit too. Everything ruins college your credit. Loans. Oh, that's <laughs> massive. My parents were going broke <laughs> when I was graduating college, but they were like, "We're going to we're pay off your college." Yeah, that's like a probably an immigrant thing in general, but specifically with Indians, education is so important. Mm -hmm. They paid off most of it. I paid off at the end because I was like, "Y'all clearly can't do this right now." Um, and I had a little. I had a job. And I was just saving. Like, I didn't spend shit. I didn't holler at girls. I didn't drink. So I was like, I'll take care of the rest. It wasn't much, but um, that helped a lot. So to your credit and to ding my own shit, like, I didn't have to do that massive college loan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 500 is embarrassing, though. It's 200. <laughs> His is 500. It is fucking pathetic. I, I know, and I asked them to raise it. They won't budge. They won't move. I think they know we know each other. Do you know what your credit <laughs> score is offhand? 730-something. Damn. Not bad. Not bad, but that's got to be that to get to 30K. Well, I, I had a great credit score, but then I had a couple hospital bills that when I was going uh, broke, I was like, I after insurance, they were charging me 4000 And yeah. I was like, I'm not doing that on principle. Fuck you. And then it dinged my score way less than you'd think. So worth it to say $4,000. So worth it. Like, so worth it, guys. I, yeah. I can't explain to you how much you don't really need I like to pay. It. I've also heard if you pay back like a dollar a month, they won't put it on your credit for hospitals. That might be true. I don't know. Just, just pay them the fucking barest minimum you can pay and it won't ding your credit. But I was so goddamn lazy and I was like, yeah, whatever, fine. And then I, my credit score, my credit score would be touching 800, I think, if it wasn't for that. Damn. I think. I think. Pretty good. Yeah. Not too shabby. I was 535 for a while. Do you have an American Express card? I do. You do? What color is it? Not black. Okay. But it's up there. <laughs> it's platinum. <laughs> That's great. You know what's cool, though? This is actually a little triumph story. He looked at me like it was purple. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, I couldn't get you an American Express Simmons card for one? a while because, yeah, well, my parents had a, uh, we had a, a bunch of GNCs when I was a kid, like the vitamin stores. Ironically, I was very fat at the time. But uh, <laughs> we lost all of them, and then we were like, my, we, they didn't want to work for somebody else. My dad wanted to open a restaurant. His whole credit was fucked. So I was like, look, open a corporation. I'll be the head of the corporation. Fine. Uh, that don't worry about Wait, it. Wait, how old are you at this? I was in college. Wow. So they open a restaurant in my name. It's a corporation in my name, so it's not going to fuck my credit completely. It hurts it a bit. But also there was an Amex that my dad was like, look, I can't afford to pay this back. It's in your name. And it was like 30K or whatever. And then we just never paid it back. I forgot about it. Like six years later, I tried to get a Delta Sky Miles card. The partner with Amex. Oh, they got me too, those fucking <laughs> pussies. I forgot about them. <laughs> I fuck you, Delta. F yo, fuck 29 Delta. 29% or some shit. Yeah, buddy, do you not know how credit cards work? I know how they work. I just don't have the money to pay them. Then don't spend the fucking card. I don't anymore. And they figured, Capital One figured that out too. <laughs> Only give them 200 bucks because that's all he pays us. Okay, good. It'll build up. Yeah. But here's the thing. After, So I tried to get a card like six, seven years later. And I was like, bro, how are you rejecting me for this fucking card? And they were like, well, you actually owe us um, <clears throat> you know, like $30,000 from this card or whatever. And all my indig indignation went so polite. I was like... All right, well, you know, hey, you guys got to do what you guys got to do. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, at the end of the day, you're trying to run a business here. I get that. But, hey, right is right. Thanks for your time. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Uh, but then I applied again at the end of this year, the beginning of this year, and I was, I got it. And I was like, oh, fuck, I made it. Like, not only can I get an Amex now, I got the Amex Platinum. 
uh, I say it to say, hopefully that's, you know, hopeful for you guys, but also most of this shit lasts 10 years. What and about the 30? Clear. Yeah. 10 years and A lot gone. of mine's going to be clear soon. A lot of, it's seven, seven, eight years, oh, and a lot of mine's going to be fucking forgotten about. Yeah, I, I thought it was 10, but it might be seven, eight. Yeah, so yeah, wait, yeah. so the 30 doesn't- it's gone, bro. It's gone. I don't know. I'm nothing no more. Damn. Hurt my credit a little bit? Nah, I'm good. I'm How's the restaurant credit. doing? Oh, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> that shit <laughs> tanked. What kind of, was it Indian food? Nah, it was like healthier fast food. I don't know why we didn't just do Indian food, matter of fact. Like, what the fuck are we thinking? Yeah. I don't know what we were thinking. Trying to do that. And it was also cool. like- you had your own restaurant We had to college. start like a little- We don't do like a franchise that was like an established name, but not really because we couldn't get an established name. So we went one that we thought was up and coming. Yeah. And thing, fucking ah, went damn. kaput. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. A yeah. lot of good it. lessons in going broke. Both <laughs> times I've been going broke in my life, it's been very sobering. <laughs> It Maybe. takes away the thirty thousand dollar credit limit away a little bit, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For <laughs> when sure. When we find out you're, <laughs> for you're sure. In, you're, yeah, yeah. You're in the hole of Capital One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I technically, uh, yeah, they gave me thirty. I owe them thirty too, though. <laughs> that's uh, why they gave me the thirty thousand yeah, 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 credit. Why don't you just give us our money back? One last question. What's what's your mile situation right now? Solid. Solid, I think. Hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, you're buying the tickets for the team too. Tickets for the team, and then you get the right Smart. miles card. You get fucking three points for Double, every dollar you spend yeah, on yeah, dining yeah. or whatever. Let's, I, I know I cashed out one of my cards, but uh, I think the other one's at like 600. I love this adult stuff. I got 9,000 Hawaiian Airlines miles. I feel like a king. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to go. Maybe around the world a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, I love miles, dude. I'm such a fucking dweeb for miles. I love that shit. I don't know what it is, but I um, just want to get into that miles lounge. Whew. Right? It's not as nice as you think. Hmm. You get the fucking your club access, and really, you just get a charger. That's all you get. Yeah, I've been in the one for when no I had snacks? the Delta card. Yeah, there's some snacks. The there Admiral's Club or whatever. Yeah, but the snacks are trash. The yeah. Admiral Club, I've heard, is the nicest, but the United Club. United sucks in general. The reason I stay with them is because so few people like to fly them, I have a better chance of getting upgraded. Ooh. Delta, just, everybody's flying, so you don't know who's going to get upgraded. I'm just looking for a cold soda and a couple of goldfish. Oh, you, you know got I mean? that. No, you Stretch get that. Out. No, no, you need that. Sure. And a yeah. seatbelt extender. <laughs> I got two already. <laughs> he steals them. If you're ever on a plane, if you're ever on an odd plane, get me one. I collected a seatbelt extender from an Airbus and from a Boeing. Why? So I don't have to ask when I get on the plane like a fatty. Because they oh. fucking broadcast it. Okay. I There's thought no it was secrecy like, I thought on it was that. like when hunters put a buck's head up on the wall. That's you with seatbelt <laughs> extenders. <laughs> this was the Cleveland. Uh, this, uh, this one was fat yeah. conquest. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. My bad. Oh, yeah, shit. I didn't even see it. No, that was on me. Some fucking, what did you say? <laughs> to play <laughs> around on the development. <laughs> Buddy, you are masterful with some of these words, the way you say oh, this shit. Oh, stop. It's, it's great, dude. I love it. Thank you. Fuck. Oh, all right. Oh, we're having fun. Jesus Christ. Let it the dead air. That's my bed. No, it's, I Toby, love it. Toby, mark it. It's mark it, buddy. <laughs> Come on, why you got to tip him off? They're giving me more work. <laughs> These bozos never would have thought to tell me to edit this shit. Nah, let's just stay in it. Yeah, what do you mean? We don't edit it, Toby. It's a real deal right here. It's the real feel. All right. Just don't want to fuck up the computer. This is the only one I got, thanks <laughs> to my wife. Not with your credit limit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is... <laughs> you have to wait eight months to get one of these. I know. Um, all right, this is from Sean, new patron. First question. Ever grab a refill on your popcorn on your way out of the movies? I didn't think of it, but it sounds fantastic. And <sighs> Are you allowed to do that? This is the guy that won't take home leftovers. I still think about that, and it still pisses me I off. I know. I that still, and what? There was something else I posted. I texted I posted. you about it probably multiple times. <laughs> that you have. There was something else I posted. I forget what the fuck it was on Instagram. And you texted me. You're like, dude, I'm really upset. Right? <laughs> Yo, fuck, I forget son. what it was. It wasn't, ta it wasn't leftovers. Schultz it was grew up rich. No, it was asking for no ice. You asked for no ice. I love asking. Get uh, buddy, the what, fuck out What of kind here. of water did I take when I came in here? Can you I had ask a cold it? one. What did I prefer? You preferred room temperature. That's an Indian thing, guys. I, yeah, it's yeah, it's a, be it's a very you. American thing for the 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 cold water and the. What's ice. Up, yeah? What's what's the reasoning behind this? I think hot water is actually supposed to be the best for you. And I remember I've you heard that me as you well. Work with an Asian guy at a restaurant that always drank hot water in the yeah. kitchen. And he always swore that it hydrates your body quicker because when you drink the cold water, it kind of like shuts down your system for a second or shocks your system. I believe that. I also think I just drink more if I I can just like uh, this is probably the second bottle I've had today. Crushing. Mm -hmm. If you're yeah. trying to drink a lot of water. It's just much easier to drink if it's not cold. I cold, love it. you get the brain freeze. It's going all slow. I love it when it's cold, though. Everything about you that. You don't love water. Ice, though. air conditioning. I do yeah. love. Listen, I do love water. <laughs> so long as there's Based Kool Aid beverages. in it. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? So long as there's Kool Aid yeah. in it. <laughs> as long as it has a sugary treat in there. Water with a little high fructose corn syrup <laughs> sprinkled in there. No, I do love water. I do. 
but it's got to be ice cold. Do you say water? Water. Water. Yeah, y'all say water, huh? Water, yeah, water. My girl's water. from Philly, so I'm familiar with that. Yeah, it. she's from not too far. We yeah. like, yeah. My... You look like some Northeast boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I look, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, she, you have to bright girl, like, grow up like 10 minutes away from her. She, yeah, she moved to, she grew up in Northeast, then Bucks County. Yeah, it's for same, most of her childhood. Same, then, same, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same exact story. <clears throat> Anybody yeah. in the Northeast that makes a couple of bucks, you move like five minutes outside Philly. <laughs> That's what we did. You moved to like Ben Salem and shit. You're like, oh, ah. she was in Ben Salem. Yeah, you have a, I'm, I live like two towns over. You get like, my, my dad had a good run in like from like 88 to fucking 90. And they're yeah. like, that's it. We're out of here. And then it the all. The real dad come. or the one you love? The real dad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if there's one I love, but the real dad. Um, no, I'm kidding. I, got I love everybody. Continuing to pull on the heartstrings. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but it'll make this kid cry by the end of this thing. No, I'm dead inside. He's talking about the dad that lived you or the one that abandoned you? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Foley's loving this because the whole first 10 minutes of the pod, he was just sitting there like, how do I turn him how, on yeah. Kippy? Because yeah, that's yeah, the way yeah. he operates. I felt bad because I don't want to make fun of to Foley too much for being fat. Because when we first that's sat our down, bread and butter, off, Akash. Off pod, we first sat down. He's like, am I in the frame? And I was like, what kind of fucking question is that? Yeah. Like, you don't know the answer. Just, and then it just it you're just in kept the frame for the pod for the studio next door, too. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see here. I, when people I just, look through the fucking Empire State viewfinder, <laughs> they see Foley. It's just fucking... <laughs> uh, Hang on a second. Dad, what's going on? <laughs> all right, that didn't work with the headphones. <laughs> that will cut out. That was also just mean a little bit. <laughs> I can't make fun of your dad because he watches, by the way. Love you, buddy. <laughs> that whore mama you were stuck. We're back! Let's go! You had me on the fucking ropes! Let's go! Start slamming my head on the table. <laughs> Did you spill again? What's going on? No, I, no, I just I didn't get now. to it before. Um. All right. Let's move on. Let's see here. Um. This it's cooking. I, here. And we also said we're re, we're starting to get a level of family, a level of trash that we you know weren't really prepped for when right. the show started. Of course. This one is. Does anyone? In, this is from Josh. Does anyone in your family have a tongue ring? Oh, oh, he yeah. said his 52 year old uncle has one. Oh my what? god. Dog. Oh, Which man. is, he shouldn't be allowed at the family parties, that guy. That's weird. Hey, who do you think he voted for? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's allowed to vote. And does he that. play with it? Because that was always the weird uh. thing. People would play with it and be like sticking out of their mouth. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, he yeah. hangs out at the Hooters. Yeah, yeah. He's a me tour for sure. No, yeah, that's uh, we have no peer. We're not a. Uh... We've always been pretty good with that the Foley's piercings, tattoos, et cetera, et cetera. Always, always down the line. Not, not too shabby. I can't foresee you now. No. Right? Yeah, yeah. You ever have your ear pierced? No. You didn't. I'm surprised no. I could see in high school. It always felt so like a try hard, and that was one thing I never wanted to be was try hard. And I'm not saying I'm the most secure guy at all, but like I never wanted to. I never wanted to be obvious. I'm trying hard. I yeah, guess yeah, probably yeah. what it is. Well, when you're yeah, you're two two years older than me, I think. And when I guess we were in high school and in college, those diamond studs were oh, big. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were yeah, like the fucking, it, everybody had those. Yeah, things. they were all like, fake though. I mean, yeah, most of, course, of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who cares? It was like when Fabulous had the ones that were like this fucking big. Yeah. Did yeah. you have your ears pierced? No, I don't think pierced? I was really allowed. Yeah, I can't see you doing it either. No. Tattoo? No. Yeah. No, no, no. Kobe. We're a bunch of Tattoo? vanilla pussies. I, I had one ear pierced. Yeah. And I was walking through a mall, and I saw this. Just such a gross fat kid walking with one ear pierced. <laughs> and I was like, is that what I fucking look like? And then instead of taking it out, I went to Claire's, got the other one pierced, like oh, an even wow. bigger bozo. Oh, wow. dude. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. Talk about double ear pierced at Claire's, too. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Jesus Have Christ. a buddy do it. <laughs> yeah. You guys had the gay ear, right? You pierced the gay ear and the straight ear? What, my dick? No, no, no you, they, your ear they used to was, say if your left ear was pierced, you're straight. That was a big right 90s thing. Yeah, that yeah. was like the 80s and 90s. If your, 90s. Ear, if your right ear was pierced, you were gay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Like a, It was like an old school like 70s like under the table signaling thing. I think, oh, really? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even know it was real. I just thought it was one of those things that we used to believe in the 90s. Like I like, think the, there was a lot of shit in the 90s that you were like, oh, did you hear about oh, this? Oh, yeah, we were idiots. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Jerry Penicoli with the gerbil. That was, I mean, that Every was local news guy, yeah. Everybody, yeah. Um. All right. This one's from Preston. Uh, never had a question read. Does your family only air condition certain parts of the house? <laughs> 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 Which, as my parents get older, they live in a pretty big house. It's like it's the smart move. There's there's rooms that they like cover the vents and stuff like that. <sighs> yeah, they're getting a little God. dicey with it, and they keep it hot as shit and cold, hot as shit in the summer and cold as shit in the winter. 
They sit there in fucking ski jackets watching TV. We have <laughs> like they're on the fucking ski lift. I don't. <laughs> we have different temperature settings in our three rooms, mm-hmm. and the one that nobody stays in, I'm like, why the fuck would this ever be on? Yeah. Like, Close the door. Close the door. Turn it off. Yeah. Keep the shit cold everywhere else. But every, uh, why are we wasting money here? Whole yeah. house. Keep it cranking. How many AC units you got? Right, right now one, and it does it does the job. How many BTUs is it? I don't know. Couldn't oh, tell you. you. Know. Twelve hundred thousand you million. After that BTU count. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's got to be the low ones are like five. That's yeah, like the yeah. hundred and fifty dollars. Twelve thousand, buddy. You're yeah, you got to you got to go like over nine to. to when get I was a, a kid, my parents were the king of that. Though we had one. You could do CGI for the Coke polar bear for sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's just got a bunch of those green sensors on him. He's drinking a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> the black suit. This yeah. We would all sleep in the living room on real hot days, which I only remember the air conditioner coming out or getting put on at a certain time in the summer, and it wasn't fucking May or June. It you, was easily yeah. July. Yeah. And then they would put uh, blankets up over the 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 like the entranceways <laughs> out of the living room. We'd all sleep oh, in there. What are they building a fort? They're fucking adults. That's how we That's did it. Crazy. Man. Yeah. That's we had we central it. air when we moved to the. Uh, our new house. We got central air. You are pure garbage, dog. Hundred uh, percent. We got central air. We have central air, central Ooh. air now. Yeah. Get it from our neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Just tap into their line. <laughs> no, we have central air now. But when I was a kid, no, no, mm-hmm. pure garbage. How old are you? Forty-five. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh. It's getting late for you. <laughs> you know, get your shit together, bro. We hit a buzzer beater, though. That's what Bobby <laughs> Kelly said. He goes right at the fucking nick of time. You guys get. Yeah, a we're cooking. I just told you my air conditioner's running all the time. No, I'm saying I'm clean living out no, there. I'm just saying, you know what I mean. Health. Let's let's focus on that. Forty. I'm focused. Right? Yeah. Okay. See, that's because it's hot in here. I'm sweating. Everybody else is sweating too. I'm actually quite comfortable drinking my warm water. Can uh, I get a can of soup or something <laughs> over here? <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, this is from Sideshow Bub. Do you or did you curse in front of your grandparents or parents? I used to think it was really funny to curse in front of my grandparents because I didn't think they knew what it meant. Uh, in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think they did now. Looking back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they wouldn't bitch. say anything. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was so funny. <laughs> that little 11-year-old yeah. Akash. You fucking <laughs> slut. <laughs> 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 fucking bitches. And uh, I don't cuss in front of my parents just out of respect, but they know I cuss all the time. I just don't do it at them. I'm real I don't cuss around it. kids. Like I'm, I'm very. As those are important things to me. I, uh, I was home at my mom's house not too long ago. She was. It was like two weeks ago. She and I was fighting over. I was fighting with somebody on the phone, and I think it was like the ads or something. And we were getting screwed. Is what was happening. Yeah. I was, yeah, yeah, I yeah. was losing it. Right. And I'm on the phone. It wasn't the ads. It was something else. And I'm on the phone and. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck is the fucking problem? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And my mom's sitting there with my like two year old niece. She's like, we're gonna go play downstairs. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Yo, the Northeast they don't do that as much, and I think it's more. I think most of like the politeness of the South and the rudeness of the Northeast is just population density. Yeah. There's too many people to be polite in New York. True. I don't have fucking time in the South. If I'm walking by a person and say hi, Howdy, there, that's yeah. the only person I'm going to see for 100 feet. <laughs> Howdy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. how are you? I'm doing well. You'd that's... be a crazy person if you said hi to everybody in New York. Oh, how you doing? How are you? You literally yeah, look yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psycho. So I think even cussing around kids, like in the South, I don't see it, I don't see that many kids on a day-to-day. So it's easier to So it's to easy not, to yeah. edit. Hey, we're at Chick-fil-A or whatever the fuck. There's some kids there. Just watch it. Mm-hmm. In the Northeast, it's just constant people all around. Sure. I can't, if I'm on the train in New York, there's always kids. There's kids 24 hours a day. I can't, yeah. I can't wash my mouth. Yeah, but you curse a lot on stage. Do your parents come to your shows? Uh, ever? They're not allowed to watch my shows. Really? They, I mean, they might still watch, but like I've let them come to one show, and I made sure I didn't cuss at that show. What? Really? Yeah, yeah. I can't handle it. That's crazy, I can't dude. Handle it. And bombing Damn. in front of your parents, oh, dog. Oh it my fucking god, I could sucks. never live that down, dude. I've done it a couple of times because they don't get <laughs> not too long ago. Uh, it's rough because they don't get that it's it's gonna happen. Oh, you're oh, no matter how long, how good you it's are. An occupational comedy, hazard. It's you you're gonna bomb. bomb. Yeah. It is a fucking certainty. <laughs> Occasional bombs, and even if a person knows that going in, if that's the show they watch you where you bomb, they're like, this guy's. Up. Yeah. Even I, if they know, is probably his next one will be fine. They're like, nah, but he, he sucks. But they now. watched you bomb. Yeah. You've you are, eaten it in front of your mom a few, a more so than any times. comic I've ever met. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> because it's tough. usually it was, it, it, if we were doing shows in Philly before people started coming to the shows, but, you know, three or four years ago, it, a lot of it was populated with Kevin's family. They would all come out because. We would, would go back and do a one, like we, me, you, Cotton, and like whoever would do like one show a year in Philly. And we get like all friends and family to yeah. come out and stuff like that. And those shows we all did well on. 
But there were some other ones that, like, we were working, like, like this fucking side room at a thing. Mm, and yeah. then, like, my Why mom would, would put it on Facebook. Why and then her cousins her would come. Oh, my God. Dude, dude. I've been getting heckled by, like, my third, <laughs> my, my mom's third cousin and shit. My aunt and uncle came to fucking Kiss Kiss Bang Bang or whatever it was. That place in AC. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I remember that. You <laughs> ate it, too, didn't you? I think I had There's a sport- no way to not. You're next to stripper poles. What yeah. the fuck is this? So you're on, like, a nine-foot stage, yeah. too. Yeah. I think I had a sport coat on, too. I think I was wearing a Sport coat that night. Uh, you ate, I remember Pouring that. Pouring sweat. One. Yeah. Bombing up there with the cordless mic. Ugh. 50 foot ceilings. I remember there's this ridiculously attractive waitress at that show. And not that I would ever not be faithful to my girl, but like, the, like there was no, if I was trying to cheat, I'd be like, there's no way she respects me doing this show. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, respect yeah, the yeah, comic yeah. that you see on this stage no. next to two go-go dancer poles. Yes. Where the stage is also the laugh. stage is just an extension of the bar as well. Yeah. So they're like they're working behind yeah. you at the bar. No chance. Like get the fuck out of here. It was actually nice to not even have that in my brain of a possibility. It's out. Mm-hmm. It's gone. Yeah. Dude, we did we did one in AC. We did f- like four in a week in an AC. And each one was worse than the fucking next. And um, there's like thirteen people or something. Oh, fucking and nightmare, dude. Dog. We're just taking it on the fucking chin. And he was he was nice enough. He was like, dude, I'll because when we co headline, we would flip flop. Yeah. And he's like, he was nice enough to be like, I'll close these shows out because uh, you've yeah. been getting the raw end of the deal. Yeah. And I remember I'm bombing. This guy comes in. Remember the guy came in, just walked into the club, sat in the front row, pulls his phone. It was just like mayhem. And I'm ready to, I'm at my wits end. And I'm like, then I see, I didn't realize my uncle was in the crowd. Oh my God. Or like oh, at like minute, I had to do 35 minutes. Oh, at minute 33, I see my uncle just like, Rubbing his forehead, <laughs> and I'm like, ah! I'm like, guys, I lost my time. I think I cried in the broom closet. After the show, he gave Kevin twenty dollars and said, "Don't come to Thanksgiving." <laughs> <laughs> and Call out. your dad. I did that show while I was going broke, and nothing fit my mood better than that show. Oh, like dude. that was, I was like, this is where I belong right now. This is it. I'm so happy we don't have to do those anymore yeah. for the time being. I love it. And Mayo keeps trying to get me back, and I'm just like, no, that show gave me COVID. I did. I went back to AC at a different venue with him. And I got COVID, and then gave it. <laughs> We, that we canceled because of you got COVID. We were supposed to be the weekend after you. You're welcome. We canceled, but we're doing it next weekend, June 18th. That's yeah, June 18th. Atlantic City. Be vaxxed, baby. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Socially distant, I think. Can't wait. No it's going to be a hot one. Um, Jesus Christ, that's so funny. I forgot about that. Yeah, look, you got home and you're like, Akash has it. He got in Atlantic City. And you called. We're like, this is getting too hairy. Yeah, we're not out. doing it. It's getting yeah. dicey out there. You're out. Um, all right, let's do a couple of more here. This one's from Ryan Coates. This just says, have you ever played doctor? No. <laughs> no. I should have. Maybe I'd be a different. When you were a kid? No. I, what? You're talking about when you were a kid, I right? I think, like, sexually, he's saying. As, yeah. As, I, as yeah, I, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? You had a, I had regular <laughs> office hours. You got an optometrist. <laughs> uh, I got, yeah, I got Talk caught. to my assistant, Shaolin. Yeah. I got caught playing with a girl. Couple weeks ago, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it was one of those things where, like, I didn't know what was. Ha- I was young. So we were both young, and everybody was like, "Ah, look at this!" And it was just like Getty made fun of. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what you're making fun of me for, <laughs> yeah. but I don't like it. <laughs> I know yeah. you're. And I don't think I don't think you're a licensed physician. We're <laughs> <laughs> at any place to make that call. Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. Fucking doctor, all that stuff. Truth or dare. Fucking seven minutes in heaven or whatever it's called. I never did any of that shit. Really? Yeah. Man. Yeah, you grew up in a real like '80s movie. Yeah, he is John Q. America, dude. <laughs> yeah. He really is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you live that life, dog. Yeah. The shit I see in pedophiles the and pizza parties. <laughs> <laughs> Spin the bottle. You played that. Hell yeah. That it's was a- like something we would only see on TV. Yeah. Like it would be like if somebody would ever be like, let's play Spin the Bottle through the day. We'd be like, get the fuck out. That was a very '80s versus '90s. You thing, grew up I guess, in like yeah. a white trash version of Full House. Sure, you could say that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Couple Uncle Rented Joey's out. floating around. <laughs> I know, yeah, dude. Fucking spin the bottle. Pa- like anytime there was like a party in like you know seventh, eighth grade, seven, eighth grade, ninth grade party, and then after that it was just they were fucking like ragers. They were parties. Yeah, parents weren't home, but yeah, parents went to sleep or whatever. We would sneak out. We would all like seven of us would stay at my one buddy's and we'd sneak out to the girl's house where her parents were away and like seven girls were staying. Spin the bottle, truth or dare. That's literally out of like an eighties movie. I bet movie. that kid got pussy. That kid right there. Kid did all right. He was a good kid. Right, How's this guy do? <laughs> Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> that kid's real disappointed in this guy. <laughs> oh, man. He would be, right? Oh, man. 
That if he knew what I grew up to be, yeah, he'd be giving you a wedgie and shit. Oh, doll, he'd be stuffing me in a locker. You can't fit you in can't. a locker. Come on, <laughs> buddy. I think he meant storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> this week on Storage Wars. <laughs> <laughs> totally stuck. Somebody let me out of here. Oh, fuck. Oh. Wedge him into a five by fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a storage unit? You've had a storage yeah, unit. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Well, we we're in Miami, so we had all our stuff uh, in storage units. That doesn't yeah. count. That doesn't uh, count. That's in classic. New York? Or in Hobo? Or in, where? Uh, in Jersey? Yeah, in Sea Caucus. Sea Caucus. Let me like ask you this. You Did you get movers to move in your yeah, new yeah, apartment? Yeah, 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 yeah. But they don't unpack, and that's where you're really fucked in the ass. Because we moved on such short notice, we didn't have the time to do the, like, we don't need this. Let's throw it out. You brought so everything. Br- everything. And so we're, as we're moving in, we're throwing out tons of shit. It was a whole nightmare. Furniture that were like, that belonged in Jersey. It does not belong here. Yeah. All of our front. You got an elevator? You an elevator building or walk yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, elevator. Nice. Yeah. Door what man? floor? <laughs> 31. You're on the what? 31st floor? Yeah. Holy yeah. Men's shit. Menswear. Holy shit. I Jesus. love it. Spending a little bit of that cage. <laughs> I don't even know those buildings went up that high over there. <laughs> Toby, get him a fresh hot water, will you? <sighs> Classy. Damn. All right. I got doing floor. it. 30K, 31st floor. Nice view. Uh, decent view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the view. Well, where do you look? South? North? South, and then a little bit west. Ooh. Is there a helicopter? Is there a helicopter? And a little bit east. You can see the river. Yeah, I can see the river. Is there a helicopter pad on the top of your building? Not at all. But I will say one thing that I really liked is I could see the Empire State Building, and that was like... I fucking came here and I was broke here and now I I'm yeah. looking, I, I beat this bitch. Oh, I love Look it. At it. In I just the fucking hyped me up. I yeah. beat this bitch. Like I I legit got emotional when I saw it because I kept saying wherever I live I want that and my girl didn't fight me on it but I think it was like kind of odd to her. She's just like it's just why you ca- like you care so much about this and then when I got up there and I looked out the window I was like I fucking slept on a mattress on the floor with mice running by my face all night. I did that whole shit that everybody did, and now I'm looking at you like I fucking yeah. got you. Uh, I got you. That's fucking. They say that's fantastic. The, that's the building the most that people acquire like a personal weird relationship with, yeah. where, where they speak to it in a first person. I don't speak to it necessarily in the first person, but like. Well, you said there you are. Yeah, I guess I was thinking like I beat New York, like not the building, yeah. but I'm like New York. I fucking got you. Like I came, I did it, I made it here. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <sighs> And ripped off Amex in the process. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple of hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> Take that 4K and shove it up your ass, pussy. Yeah. You can have the cast back. I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, all right, let's do two or three more. This one is from Brad. Ever try to make a blooming onion at home? <laughs> no, Which is a man. fucking garbage <laughs> move, yeah, dude. Yeah, it also sounds so fire, though. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds if so you fire. Figure, if you crack the code, it can make them at home. Bruh, you're it's a probably hero. pretty you're good. You're a king. Yeah. I've told you this. Before, you're not going to believe me. Never had one. I've only had a, a couple of times. We, where is that? It's at Outback, it's, it's right? It's onion rings Outback. with a dipping sure. sauce. Yeah. 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 And you like pull it, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. It's a fun time. Mm-hmm. It looks party. awesome. We should do that on the road. I've always wanted oh, to Oh, yeah. Patreon content, buddy. Yeah. There you go. Foley has another heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny because I want to do all these like food things, but I'm yeah. like, I'm trying to get him to lose weight at yeah. the same time. Yeah. So it's like a dance of like, hey, you can go to can an you have a cheat buffet. day, like a cheat half day maybe? Uh, 45 years of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I'm saying you, you're straight for six and a half days, and then one meal you go fucking hammer. Okay. And then that's six and a half days of clean eating. All right. Not just clean living, clean yeah, eating. Yeah. That's like giving an alcoholic a shot of Jameson. Yeah. I you got to go can, cold turkey. Yeah. But he's not going to go cold turkey is a thing. So I'm thinking. Yeah, he does like hot turkey. <laughs> <laughs> he has an open face turkey sandwich. Hot oh, and gravy and cheese. Shout out, like shout out to them. The open face turkey sandwich. But there's got to be a way. We got to get this fucking. We're thing working on. on. We're doing a weight loss challenge on the Patreon. It's not going so well. Tune in. Haven't gained one pound in seven months. Yeah, but that's not enough. You gained six a week ago. From way into weigh in last week, you were six pounds heavier. But still, as I said, he's the same way right he now, was four yes. months ago. Which is kind of a win, but that's not enough, buddy. Kind that's, of a win. I think it's Good bad. To win. I'll tell you what. I'll take it. Yeah. No, I think the problem is we're viewing that as a win. Yeah. No. That should I, be I you. not a win. I'm going to celebrate you for that, but I'm also going to say you got to fucking lose weight, bro. Millions of dollars on the line. Thank you. Love that. Can I have that now? <laughs> Can I get that up front? <laughs> Son, no, because you'll blow it all on fucking Coke and Fat Things. <laughs> Coke and Fat Things. That's the name of the title. Coke and Fat Things. Hot <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm telling you, dog, you guys are the the hot ones. Andrew said it well. You guys are hot ones for Trey. Think how much fucking money that guy's making. He doesn't yeah. know what to do with it. YouTube ad revenue is out the fucking through the moon. Any podcast where you do, you're going to get paid on. You got your Patreon. is cracking. It's millions of dollars. I'm not saying that exaggerated. I think y'all have that potential. But it all rests on your fucking weight. On your fat ass back. I'm on it. I'm this on it. This guy's a professional, dog. His credit going to get cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, on it. You, You're- hilarious, but you got to get your weight in order. And I'm saying that because I love you. I'm telling you. I love you, you too. If I didn't give a fuck about you, I would be like, yeah, you know, whatever. But I'm telling you, you guys got too much potential to fucking not lose weight. It's, it's not going to. It's not going to. It I bothers me you. to think about. How this, do you think I feel? This is so rare. <laughs> <laughs> I lay in bed at night going, cool, I got a career. Ah, oh, fuck, it's all based on Foley. It's know, all based on I keeping know. his fat piece of shit alive. You're, you're so fucking funny. Thanks, and this buddy. Kid is funny, and it's so rare to have two funny people with chemistry. And y'all got decades of friendship. Oh, you got to fucking, you got to do it. I got it. I got I it. I'm telling you, you, I got it. I said this to you off pod, so it was more like heart Yeah, I me. remember. But my exact words were, it's about everything you ever wanted is about to come true. I know. But you have to be able to enjoy it. I know. <laughs> Otherwise, if you can. The everlasting gobstopper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And right. we love That's it. And we love PSA. you guys. <laughs> can I pee before we do the real podcast? Are we done with Patreon? <laughs> no, this is the pod. Oh, this, this is isn't on Patreon. Patreon. Oh, okay. No, this isn't Patreon. Oh, we do Patreon questions on the on real On the podcast. real show. Can I do a bathroom break either way? Yeah, we're, we're, we're wrapping it up. We'll wrap it up right now. Let's okay. do one yeah. more. Uh, this is from Uncle Cracker. Ever wash a suit in the washing machine? <laughs> Which I mean, what are we doing? That's I love in- that, yo. That's I've garbage. thought about it. That's yeah. garbage through and through. You just I can't dry it. it. Yeah, I assume if you wash yeah. it on like a low tumble or I've something. I've done it. I've done that. Yeah. A gentle. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. Get it fucking dry cleaned. It's nine bucks. <laughs> I tell you what, those steamers, man. They, they, you don't have to wash clothes anymore. Hit it with the fucking steamer. You're in and out of the door. Steamer, little Febreze. Fucking keep it moving. No, no, <laughs> no, no. That's trash. All right, let's wrap it up. Gang, thank you so much for tuning in with Akash. You got anything coming up you want the folks to know about? Hit them. Yeah, I'm doing shows. Uh, Kansas City, please buy tickets to that. If you're listening, please, for fuck's sake, buy tickets to that. Uh, I'm in San Diego, July 2nd and 3rd. You know what? Can I just read the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please do. Please. Right, I'm going to announce a couple shows I haven't Let's announced. Let's do it. Ooh, getting the AYG yeah, exclusive. Buddy. Exclusive. Uh, this weekend, I'm at, I don't know if this is going to be out, but I'm at Bananas in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. You don't need to come to that. Uh, 17th, June 17th through 19th, Kansas City Comedy Club of KC. July 1st through 3rd, San Diego at American Comedy Club. July 22nd through 24th, I'm at Magooby's Joke House in Baltimore. September 23rd to 25th, I'm in Austin with you guys. Yeah, Moon Tower. Woo! Shout out doing, to Moon Tower. I'm sneak onto your pod whether you like it or not. <laughs> DC, I haven't announced this yet. October 8th and 9th, I'm at the Comedy Loft. Toronto, I got a lot of fans in Toronto because a lot of Indians. Uh, October 15th at the Grand Girard Theater. And then theater. Oh yeah, buddy. That's my first theater. So we got to sell. Oh, it I love it. And then, uh, November 11th through 13th, I'm at helium in Indianapolis. So hopefully, there oh, we go. Hopefully baby. We tickets. Yep. Look at it. Guys, Kippy. go see him live. He's a fucking monster. Killer. Insane. Yeah. Insane. How funny he is. Um, guys, make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes, YouTube, that whole thing. Live show and patreon.com. The tickets to the live show will be in the description of the episode. Go get some tickets oh real quick sorry to interrupt my ticket my website is akash singh.com <laughs> and also flagrant two podcast check oh out. yeah, yeah of check course come on two, of course um gang we love you very much akash we love you toby you, we buddy. love you kippy i love you buddy i love you too dad and we love you guys beautiful what a hot thank you buddy it was awesome man, thank you